it's just the bottom part here is like you can see you know normal head will behave like this this is more like a hay hey guys today i'm going to uh, bleach my hair probably three times and to dye my hair to a purple color so i've never bleached any hair before this is like virgin hair <laughs> and yes this is a, my face without any makeup and also um 50 days of quarantine so my face has significantly become rounder but i guess we can't do anything about that right now uh so yeah um <coughs> i've bought my bleach <coughs> online bleach and my developer so i'm going to do that in a bit uh, and this is the colour that I'm going to use later, which will come up to about the purple colour here. The colour is called Pastel Lavender. Okay, so um, I'm not sure whether I will be able to do my colour by today, or the whole bleaching process will be too taxing for my hair. Uh, but I will all compile it into this whole vlog together, and you'll see. And I've prepared my foils for usage later as well. Um, so <clears throat> I was thinking what was the what will be the best clothes to wear to do my bleaching because they say that you should wear something old that you don't want anymore. And I'm like thinking I just threw out all of my old clothes. So the best choice would be getting a white <laughs> a white shirt because you can't bleach a white thing. I mean that logic makes sense la to me. Okay, so um unfortunately I don't have any toner. So apparently if you wanted to get your hair to a very very light colour and then you wanted to put something that is very light in colour, um you kinda need to tone your hair because when you bleach it it will naturally turn orangey or yellow colour. So uh to cancel out the yellow colour you kind of need to use purple or blue shampoo. Um but I couldn't find uh not actually shampoo only but you can use toner that's uh, semi-permanent um, but I couldn't find any toner so I'm not going to use any so by the logic if purple cancel out yellow right if it's not too yellow this one probably will cancel out my yellow color so I'll probably turn out with like gray color or white color hair which isn't too bad as well so I've no idea how it's going to get um, but yeah I was things worse, I would just dye it all black again. No biggie. So, uh, to begin with, I'm going to section out my hair first and I'm going to mix the uh, bleach in a moment. So, as you can see now, my hair is a bit oily because I haven't washed my hair last night. Um, apparently, if you are supposed to bleach your hair, you're not supposed to uh, wash your hair because it will create micro abrasion. Uh, mini micro cuts on your scalp so when you bleach it it will actually hurt so um, I didn't wash it and um, most of the instruction that I'm getting is based on this youtuber called Brad Mondo uh, I think some of you guys if you guys are interested to look at how to cut your own hair and everything you probably have came across his videos um, so um, I'm sectioning my hair based on what he taught as well so um, basically like this half I have actually no idea whether it's half or not because I can't see it at the back okay so after you get half you will find the apex of your head which is the highest point of your head okay just draw it down to the back of your ear Okay, so we'll do the front the last because uh, it makes more logic if we are working from the bottom to the top so you don't drip over and it's less messy. Okay, so on this side you can see that there's still a lot of hair. Okay, for bleaching we are starting the process dry uh, and we are going to bleach the mids and the end first because so nearer to your scalp there is actually heat so it will process faster. So we are going to start here first and leave it on for like 15 minutes 
then we are going to add the roots but I'm not sure if I can work that fast because this is the first time I'm doing this After like mixing for like 5 minutes, this is the minimum curve that I can get. It's fine because like um, when you put the bleach on the root, it processes much faster. I managed to bleach like this part a little bit of the root somewhere. Yeah. So as you can see, it's not very even the color. Some of it is like much darker. Here is like much darker. And I really can't do this alone. Lah. I need help. Uh. Yeah. So that that you can see a patch there is dark, and here at the front here. You can see like one patch is a little darker. Okay, uh, the foil definitely did help. I actually did this side way longer to process than this side. That's why you can see like this side is not that dark yet. So I'm going to do this tomorrow. I am so tired from like just doing this one time of bleaching. So I'm going to ask for help tomorrow. Hey guys, um, so today I'm going to, this is like after two days, I'm going to finally continue bleaching my hair. And today I'm asking my sister for help because I really can't do the back. So, um, now I'm just sectioning the hair like before. You can see that there's quite a distinct line, especially here. Where I stop. <laughs> so let's continue. It's I've completed like the roots and the hair. Now I'm just waiting for the time to process. And yes, I can't even see and my left eye is like <laughs> I can feel the ammonia. So um, I'm going to show you the outcome of this. And then I guess you guys can't really see me, but yeah. So this is the second bleach. Obviously, we have missed some spots on the roots here, quite obvious, and also here, parts la. And but I do see that the roots really develop way quicker, so I am not too worried. Like we could just patch this up and let it process earlier. And I think I haven't been washing out my bleach quite well, so it's like a bit. Part. So, yeah, still generally some parts of the hair has gotten to the shade that I, the, the level that I wanted. Like here, if you look at the really, really thin strands in front, is the yellow that I want. But generally at the back um, and at the roots, I guess. It's still slightly darker because there's no heat to it so I think I'm going to like bleach here a bit more on this side I did this side today first so uh, with my sister's help so yeah you can see that the root is still pretty dark like definitely miss a spot here yep here it's black <laughs> so um yeah okay this is the last round of bleaching i've adopted a new 
method rather than to use my tin foil. Just going to use a shower cap and to hopefully incubate them. And because most of it is quite light already, I'm not going to like put it on for too long. And that is my alarm. So this is the effect of the dirt bleach. When it's wet, it's actually the roots here. You can kind of see that there's a line of like yellow. But generally, my hair is pretty white now. Like, uh, and you can see it's quite frizzy as well. I tried my best, lah, guys. I can't have the best of everything. This is the first time I'm doing this. Uh, so thankful that my sister helped me on this because if not, it would be worse than this. So I'm going to try and do as much um, treatment as I can to restore whatever quality that I have for my um, my hair and I'm probably going to rock this hair for a few days um, and I ran out of my developer so I actually need to get more developer before I can mix uh, my color to be dye in to my hair the roots here is actually still feeling quite healthy it's like after that it's like ah uh, different thing lah and <laughs> funny thing is that I actually like not sure if you can see this yeah oh my god like my skin texture is so bad right now um I actually accidentally bleached the ending of my <laughs> eyebrow <laughs> because my hair was like this when it's like bleaching and I accidentally bleached off the ending of my eyebrow okay um final process of the bleaching no not bleaching i'm finally moving on to my colors my face looks so round here okay and i'm so self-conscious okay so this is obviously a week later <laughs> because i ran out of i ran out of the developer and my developer for the bleach is actually a bit too strong for this color anyway so i Tone it down a little bit. I'm using volume 20, even though for pastel color, you're actually supposed to use like volume 10. But I'm also a bit worried because I've never done it before. Um, uh, if I decided to like change it up, I'll probably just add a bit more of the conditioner just to reduce the, the concentration of the developer that I have right now. Okay, so... Um, for this one, I'm going to mix half-half, which is um, one, one per one ratio of the dye and the developer. Okay, so as you can see, some of my roots are already out. But it, I'm kind of digging this look because it looks more natural with my eyebrow, knowing that the, the root is, you can see that it's more matching. And Yes, my ends are quite dry right now. That they have been significantly fried or from the bleaching process. Okay. So just to show you guys how it looks like before we are going to start the bleaching process. Which the top part actually is not too bad. It's like it's still it feels like hair and it's still shiny. It's just the bottom part here is like you can see you know normal hair don't behave like this. This is more like a hay. So I'm hoping that the color still will be okay. That it's not too too much on here or too little because it can't grab on the things anymore because it's dead. Um so let's actually I really really like this like bleach out look. <laughs> so um let's start. Okay, I'm going to just comb out section it. As per usual, well, I'm wearing some darker shirt today because um, we are going for colors today instead of bleaching. And apparently, <laughs> the pigment for my hair washes out as yellow. So my white shirt did actually turn yellow from my hair pigment, um, which is fine, which is fine. I purposely opened that uh, new shirt 
just to do this. Okay, um, so I'm going to mix in the colors for a bit. Um, I'm going to be right back. Okay, so it turned out a little bit disappointing because it turned blue. See, here it's like processed pretty well, I think. Um, I'll blow dry it. Like here, I think it's like way too damaged for the, for the pigment to just cling on to the hair. The more I wash it, the more it's like it's coming out. Then it's like, okay, I should stop washing it. <laughs> so I'm just going to dry it and then I'll show you guys in a bit. Okay, so I've dried my hair and this is my sort of my natural curl. Um, the camera really doesn't capture what it actually looks like. Like it looks a bit still yellow and it looks like great but it's actually not great in person it actually looks kind of like a, a light baby tint blue with some yellow that's so showy through and the roots are pretty dark blue so it's I guess it works out at least it looks natural with the roots that's like really dark and you know really I could really work this kind of hairstyle like it still, it still could work with like Especially with makeup, uh, definitely with makeup, but it, it actually looks much nicer than the previous yellow hair <laughs> that's like just bleached out. So, um, I mean, it's quite frustrating. <laughs> it is frustrating for me to like spend hours, and like this has been like so many times that I've like ordered different stuff trying to make it work. I even stained my dresser. Like apparently my dresser looks like the purple that I wanted instead of my hair so I guess like my hair is very very damaged right now so I do have like those per uh, those temporary dye that is like a uh, treatment as well so that is pink color I'm probably going to try that soon just to like you know like a deep dye and see what happens and hopefully still restore, restore some life into my hair and yeah but I guess like I could still work this hair and I guess like the only thing that I'm a bit sad about is that this doesn't really suit my skin tone but I mean like if I do a makeup that is more like a you know ashy dark color it could work so Thank you so much for watching this video. Um, I might be doing my hair a lot next time and I like that I can now show my personality through my hair as well. <laughs> so I'll see you guys next time. Bye!